think that's enough because Japan... Oh, Japan hasn't generated 20%. So we might not be able to do this one, can we? It looks like we can. Alright, so... Do we do this? We don't really need a civil war, do we? We don't. Yeah, we don't. I'd rather just go down this tree. And try to get ourselves to limited intervention so we can start playing around with the proxy war strategy. Yep. And that's what we're going to do. I am rolling solo. Yes. We are playing an interesting United States proxy war scenario. Light tanks are done. Light tank 2 has to get done. Let's get that started. Alright, these guys are done. So we'll stop training them. Lots of these guys are done. All done? Yeah, they're all trained. Alright, we'll stop them. Fully trained division, look at that. 106 fully trained divisions. Alright, so these guys are also fully trained. Let's unselect that. Turn them in. So we have 24 ready to go um, I guess these are the islands I can leave them there Hawaii decryption's done now we can get the discount from this it's 400 years man. that's huge but it does reduce research time More than a year. I don't think we want to do that. This is 45 days. Yeah, we're way too far ahead. On the other hand, we can use this for artillery as well. And we do want to be able to build some anti-tank. Well, let's do that. is actually more useful probably oh but I do need this in order to get down the tree anyway yeah I have to get this first it's a requirement Still have hundreds more divisions getting pooped out. So we can send tons of volunteers. Alright, so let me just pause for a sec because now that we're done building the crappy ones and we've got more manpower, 
Gotta start building the good ones, the good divisions. So we've been training for a while. We have some manpower. We have some army experience. We can build some better tank divisions. Why are these infantry? But infantry with light tanks, you slow them down. You have to be mobile. But we don't have... We don't have motorized yet, so we can't fix those divisions. Uh... Yeah, let's wait. Let's just be patient and wait. Until we can build the proper tank divisions. Let's put another field marshal here. Just so we can train them. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of army XP to fix that situation. So maybe we'll just keep training these guys for army XP. Alright, so this one's done. I guess I'll go down this tree. Yeah, we're having a ton of convoys that we don't really need. The reason we're building convoys is to conserve on manpower. Because if we build like proper ships, it will take quite a bit of manpower. Uh, however, we do get 186k now, so maybe now we can switch from building convoys to building carriers or battleships, whichever we prefer. Uh, let's see. I guess we can build some York towns. They're better. Right? One Yorktown and maybe some light cruisers. I mean I've all the I've all the convoys I'll ever need, I think. I guess I can ditch one to stack of that. And just work on that. Yeah, we can ditch this one too. And then recreate it. So those become backups. Alright, so to get this properly done, we are going to need naval... No, we're going to need chromium. Two lines of chromium. Let's go trade for that chromium. Who's got my chromium? Ah, let's boost Greece a little bit. Why not? I mean, we could give it to the UK, but... I don't care. Let's just help Greece out a little bit. Because Greece is awesome. We all know that, don't we? Let's do it. Right, so now we are using a little bit of manpower to build some pretty awesome ships. Hell, we need more army XP. So I'm just going to train everybody. Because we have a surplus. Well, the Anchilus has happened. Okay, intervention. Alright, so we have a huge surplus of stuff right now, and we don't really have the army XP to really outfit our proper armor division, so we're going to have to do that. Alright, so we're at 40%. Perfect. Perfect, Giant Awakens. And the very next would be limited. Oh, we need 75 volt tension before we can do that. But that's fine. I'm sure that uh, once uh, Poland gets attacked next year, we should be fine. In the meantime, we'll continue to arm up and get ready to kick some butt. East Coast, West Coast issues. Yeah, we can't get the Asiatic fleet over. Oh, we are over in Mexico. Yeah, but we can't seem to get them across. Let's see, motorized is finally done. I went on 
gonna do mechanism. Let's see, shall we start working on our special forces? Uh, mountaineers for sure. Mountaineers are really awesome. Alright, so these guys are just about done. And then we'll train all of them. Wonderful. So our army size is, I mean divisions. Wise, we have 226 divisions now, of which half of them are just rubbish, or more than half of them are rubbish. France has 50 to 80, UK has 44 to 66, and we have twice the size of uh, Germany's army. Hmm. Seems like the Soviets have a huge army as well. Although ours is fake, because ours is nowhere near that strong. It's a fake army. Alright, so this one is going to take 278 days. It's really long. I wonder if we just, just punch down this tree and then we'll get the super heavy. 711 days. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to seriously be able to do tanks other than the fast ones. 39. Alright, this might be time where we start looking into possibly getting better ships. No, that's way too far ahead. We don't need those. We don't need destroyers. We need cruisers and carriers. The rest of these take too long. Aircraft, I guess we could at some point. But again, no high urgency. That's going to be done soon, and then we can jump straight up to the next one. Tanks. Yeah, maybe the maintenance companies, maybe the logistics companies would be better. We can also go down Marines, get some Marines, or Paratroopers. I think Paratroopers would be nice because I haven't really been building paratroopers. So I guess for this game we'll do different things. Yeah, let's... Oh, we need marines for sure. Yeah, let's build marines first and then build paratroopers. Okay, that's done. Let's continue. Okay, all of them are out. all done. Alright, so we have 190 in total of the junk divisions. And there are 10 more here, so we have exactly 200 rubbish divisions. Interwar artillery. That's done. So we can jump straight down here with the 50% discount. Get that. And then we'll pump out improved artillery too. Sweet. Right, huge surpluses as usual because we haven't started training. Well, we got motorized. Switching these three to tanks, I guess, is the same as going here and switching these three to motorized. I guess it makes very little difference. Let's see if we can change these. Oh man, it's just too expensive to train. 35. Damn. Started manufacturing any as well. What are we at? Tanks. Well, maybe we should start thinking about making something. Okay, so tanks are here. We got plenty of guns. Artillery, we can slow down because we're going to build artillery tools shortly. Uh, support equipment, I think we're set. So yeah, let's just build the tanks. Shall we ditch some guns and build tanks? Yeah, I think that might be a good plan. Let's keep 
this at? Where is it set? Drop that down, start working on tanks. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Yes, we are losing deficit to training. Alright, Giant Awakens. And wolf tensions at 43%, which means we cannot continue down and yet. Volunteers. Alright, so what can we do? We can go down this tree, get some factories. And dockyards, which is pretty awesome. Is it the only option we have though? 30%, 80%, so we're stuck here as well. Yeah, there's nothing much we can do unless I want to get down this tree and build planes, which I don't really want to. Hang on. Or plant orange. Nah, we're not gonna go down this. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go down any offensive paths. We're just gonna sit around and wait for the water kick into us. But this looks interesting. That it also gives us some army XP, so that will help with uh, trying to get that army XP up to make the divisions proper. Proper divisions. That's all we ever want. That's all we ever ask for. Proper divisions. We gotta fix that. Man. Twenty-five. We need, we need thirty-five to switch that to motorized. It's pretty insane. Would it be even cheaper just to start a new one? This to armor. Yeah, it's also 35. Now if I create a new division. Oh, hang on, let's do this first. Ah uh, yes, continue down that tree. Alright, so if I hang on. If I create a new division and start with tanks. It's five. 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 Oh, it's still going to take 25. God damn it. Now this will cost 50. It's going to cost us 35 just to modify and so yeah, it's more expensive. No new division then. Maybe we can gain more XP by uh, pushing these guys up. We do have artillery. And we can add a recon card. We can add a recon company, we can add artillery. And it's 15 points. And we're gonna keep training anyway. So we as well do that. Uh, let's do the recon company later. Let's add more artillery first, because we know we're gonna need it. I guess this division will be a very fat division, 40 combat with division. Go ahead towards 40. Down and require more training. There you go. XP drops as you replace, add more things, equipment, men. Wow, XP gain is super slow. Alright, so we can't get any more political power from anything because these things don't give us anymore. Oh, we get discounts for researching marines. Uh, wow, Mungkuku has capitulated. Japan is losing. This is epic. Let's go have a look. <laughs> is that Japan losing the war already? Nope. Okay, so they split up. They are kind of winning. They are kind of winning. China has somehow broken in. So it's weird. Are they winning or not? China is cut off because China cannot reinf cannot really supply the ports. So I think China might be losing. What do you guys think? I think China is losing. 
Yeah, Japan is broken in. Japan is gonna absorb China. Oh, so that's it connected it. We got supplies. Nope, they got broken up again. This 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 whole section is gonna get destroyed. You're not gonna be able to supply troop ports. Just, they just don't have the navy to do that kind of thing. It's gonna be cut off. All right, so where are we gonna go now? It's forty-two percent. We can't do this. We're kind of stuck, aren't we? We're not gonna do any of the war plans because those are offensive plans. We can do this one. Although I don't think we need this. I think that's pointless. I think they're gonna flip the democracy normally anyway, because we have the entire you know Monroe Doctrine thing done. So maybe it is time to do this. Because we are producing carriers and screens. So we may as well. Yep, in the meantime, it's, uh, Japan is definitely winning. Yeah, they're definitely winning. They lost a little bit, but these guys are cut off. There's nothing they can do. And Japan is just going to mop them up. Alright, so we have improved artillery too, which is awesome, of course. Let's see. It is middle of 38. We are a little early, but these are really, really good. That one's not good, but this one is 210 days. Should we invest in that? No, we're not building any planes yet. Mm, we're not even doing any naval doctrines. And we could, and we probably should be doing naval doctrines. Because if we don't start now, we're going to get our asses kicked by Japan. Our collective butts are going to be kicked. This is interesting, but hmm, I don't think we want to do that. So we can do some of these. Field hospital obviously is going to be awesome. It'll help us get more XP. Level up. Maintenance companies are also awesome. Those things done. Yeah, let's get let's get this. This is discounted. We can do this very quickly. Uh, but those are also discounted. Fifty percent is pretty huge. You know what? Yeah, let's get the maintenance company. At least we can start putting it in. Okay, army XP is at eleven. What can we do? Is there anything? right now. They want to fix these guys. Alright, so I need 20. I need infantry. And then I need one more infantry. And then I need three more artillery, right, to fix this. Wait a second, that's not, that's not right. I, I want more artillery. I want this to be like Primarily artillery based. Alright, let's see. I can put eight, and yeah, I can put tons of artillery here. Wait a second. Artillery, 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 and then we'll switch one of these to artillery. And then it'll be 40, and we have tons of artillery. Low org. Just magnificent artillery. Super high soft attack. Yeah, this might be good. Yeah, but we can't actually build this yet. Uh, oh shit, let's just cancel that. Okay. So, we add artillery. One and two. Yep, that should do it. Okay, so we are going to be super low on artillery. Are we building more? Oh yes, we do have to switch these to artillery twos. 
the good stuff. Guns are not switching yet. It'll take a while. And then we need tanks. And then we'll need some motorized. Alright, so these guys are going to need um I guess about eight of them should do it. Maybe seven. Yeah, should be enough. Uh we're gonna need rubber once we start getting in these. It's a problem for later, I think. Here we have plenty of wood infantry equipment. We are well set. Alright. Alright, it might be time to stop training. I don't know, we still need we still want to train more We are building tons of factories. This is awesome. And the US is so strong. So insane to play the US. They're just so strong. Yeah, I think, I think everything is going well. Alright, so yeah, Japan, as I said, is winning soundly. Yeah, they're gonna lose all their ports soon. I mean, even then, these guys are probably cut off. They're not gonna be able to supply. Because uh, Chinese supplies are pretty bad. Yep, Japan is gonna just mop them up. GG, Japan wins. Now, if I ever get, I mean, if it ever gets to 75, and I can get, I can actually send volunteers to help. Lots of volunteers, lots of elite volunteers, but not yet, not at the moment. Okay, so we want to get paratroopers, because why not, right? We do want to get all these things done as well. All right, I'll get field hospital first. Oh, we need steel. Wow, we actually need steel. We actually need to trade for steel. As America. All right, who are we going to get steel from? Oh, hang on. Munich Agreement, France Mounts Alliance, Bureau of Ships. Eat steel from somebody. Uh, let's boost the Australians. Uh, let's get some from Australia. And national focus is done. We're at forty-four percent. Can't go down. We can't move down that three. Uh, we can get that. That's all right, here we go. Carrier primacy. Fund the navy. Hmm. I'm not really planning on boosting that. Naval bombers might be okay. I mean, I love battleships, but the carriers are the way. Building any fighters as the, at the moment. All right, let's go with carrier primacy. The thing with carriers is that you can't stack more than four. The same, even with the doctrines, you can stack at best six, I think. Yeah. So you you, you can't spam too many carriers. I mean, you can, but. Just have to separate them, which kind of defeats the purpose. 
of building lots of them. But yeah, for now, this will, this will be fine. Yeah, Japan continues to demolish China. I don't think they're gonna last that long. Let's see. Logistics. What do we get for logistics supply usage? some of these or you know, should we just get logistics company and finalize that uh, this one's not important could go down to the carrier three but we can't take too long because we're gonna be so far behind when the war breaks out with Japan it is close to 39 We also need some air doctrines at some point. We have been ignoring pretty much all the other doctrines. Naval doctrine probably needs to be worked on. Oh, we could finish up by getting a logistics company. Yeah, let's do that. Let's finish up. China's getting smooshed. Hang on, we have a lack of resources in rubber. Oh, it looks like we have just started pumping out rubber. now or wait a little bit. I think we'll wait a little bit. We'll wait for more rubber usage first. Beans are done. Now we can build paratroopers. Yeah, Uncle Ko has taken, retaken. Yeah, and all of China, all these pockets are getting mopped up. They can just, they just don't have a way to resupply. China is getting smooshed. I guess the Peace Treaty should take us over to 75 or 100. That should unlock our ability to do whatever we want, which is proxy war with the rest of the world. All right, looks like rubber production is pretty high. Let's start getting some uh, rubber. Let's get it from... I guess we can boost France a bit. Carrier primacy, great. It's 42%. Period of error.
start looking into fighters now, I guess. Can't do this yet. Or we could get that, Naval Doctrine. Probably gonna go down here some more. Hmm. Naval doctrines like that. There's support. All right, we need to start building planes soon. Soon, I guess. Soonish. We'll get the tech first. Marines are available. I wonder if we can switch all of these to continues. No, just switch just one. Yeah, it doesn't do very, very much. Alright. Looks like we can add more artillery yet again. Adding one anti tank. Fusing is 34.9. Probably be needing a second one. Getting a second, 38. Wait a second, does anti tank only take one combat with? Oh, it. Raise piercing. Strange. Wait, let's go back to this. Alright, so field hospital. Considering this is artillery, it's probably three combat with, but it should tell us it is three. Probably not these. That's too far away. Alright, 
Okay, it's 39, so the shit's supposed to hit the fan very soon. Let's do national focus first. It's 42% still. We are stuck. We can't do US Ace. Well, we can fund the Navy or we can go down that. Or we can go around here, reduce the production cost. The thing with strategic bombers is you get really long. range. They're both just as good. Production cost of tacticals are cheaper. Resource wise they're cheaper too. And they can also do strategic bombing if you really need to. Also more agility. Slightly less air defense. And lower air attack. Almost half price. Hmm. How about heavy fighters? I mean the, the, the 1940 small fighters are just as good as the large fighters. Except they have more agility. The same operational range, that's my key criteria. Strange that heavy fighters don't get more range. Yeah, so I guess we go down this tree and then get down here. We will be fine. Alright, it's 39. We can start looking into these. Alright, national focus. We need to pick one. We can't go down limited intervention or so I guess we'll go down this tree. Or we can get evil doctrines. Also a necessary evil. Yep, let's do that. Alright, we're just waiting for the war to kick off. And then we can start doing things like sending massive volunteer forces. A huge ass army. Yep, PRC is capitulated, and soon the whole trainer will do the same. Australia a bit more of a boost. It's not likely Australia will fall anytime soon, so they probably can use the boost. 
And China, the rest of China is probably going to go down. That should give us a huge wool tension boost. Probably close to 100%. All right, paratroopers are done, so we can start pumping up paratroopers too if we choose to. Uh, let's have a look down here. Should we do this so we can get down to the next one? Right here. Doctrines not done. Hell, even naval bombers can be, can start, you know, to be looked at. That's not done. That's not done either. Start working on these. It's gonna take a really long time to get down that tree anyway. Even with the research credits that we'll be getting. We are still losing 0.2 a day. Until the Great Depression ends in 41. Oh, there we go. 100%. 96% will tension generated. Jesus, that is tons. Alright, so that's it. 1939, U.S. gets activated. I mean, we're not going to enter the war. Because, as I said, this playthrough, we're not going to be aggressive. We're not going to declare war on anyone. We're not going to join any faction. Unless we are forced into it. Are we low on something? Rubber. France has more. France will survive. We don't against the AI. All right, so all right, so now we can choose to either do limited intervention or U.S. Ace. Um, I'm gonna go with limited intervention because that will let me send volunteers immediately. In 70 days, when the war kicks off, we can volunteer France and we can help them hold. Now, in order for us to hold there, we're gonna need mountaineers, which we don't have yet. But we do have some really awesome infantry divisions that we've been working on all day. Alright, so somehow anti tanks don't give any piercing. It's 34.9. Well, 30 piercing. Adding more doesn't seem to do anything. Oh does something, just not a whole lot. I was expecting a bit more, but that's fine. So we can do kind of something like that. Soft and hard attack. Yeah, something like that would do. Alright, so we're working towards that goal. But for now, yeah, we have to we have pretty good surpluses. And we're not really pumping out a ton of divisions. We can, but yeah, I'm trying not to use up all my manpower. And I want to reserve some for the special forces that I've been training up. Alright, so our mountain new divisions are really small. Small size mountain new divisions. We could start building some and then train them as we go. Very small paratroopers as well. And marines. They're all very small divisions. Shall we start with the mountain? away. And what else are we doing? Not much 
much else. Just wait here until we can send volunteers. All right. See, is there anybody at war right now? Current wars, no wars. Okay, I just wanted to test to see how many volunteers we could send. I don't think we need to worry about that, but let's just check the number of forces we have. 226. That should be 11 volunteers. Or maybe 12. 11 or 12 volunteers, which is a lot of volunteers. Should be pretty fun. Pretty fun game. Okay, so we have three factories. Um, let's see. Convoys. What do we need to start building? Okay, so ships wise, we're not doing anything new. We're not going to build planes yet unless we want the crappy ones. I guess we can do anti-tank. Some anti-tank. Okay. My voice lags. Is it lagging behind what you see? That would be strange because I think the video goes along with the audio. Italy has joined the Axis. Okay. France bans communism. Okay. Molotov Ribbon Drop Pact. This can't be good. All right. So it looks like uh, they're gonna overrun France. Sim Kang has joined communism. What are we doing on training? Oh, these are National Guard divisions. These are not the elite that I want to build. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag all of them. Make sure they're all elite divisions. Yeah, that should make sure that everybody is elite there. Cav... Yes, we don't really need the calf. Let's make that an elite division as well. And these guys. Yeah, let's let's make these guys elite divisions. Alright, so you are either elite or you are crappy. One of the crappy ones. Yeah, tons of them. They're all mixed. But I'm just training them because I want army XP. I think we can almost stop now because war is about to kick off. We're going to be able to get our army XP in the field. Let's get to five and then we can stop trading all of them. And then we can just conserve equipment. Yeah, just save as much equipment as we can as we enter the war.
Uh, research slot. Three factories or research slot? Damn, the research slot. Alright, things are going to get exciting soon. Italy has declared war on Yugoslavia. So, this is where the fun starts. We have completed our able to send volunteer thingy. So let's completely stop the game. And let's see, shall we help the Yugoslavia? Let's start messing with the uh, Italians. Can we even help them? Can we save them? Oh, the independence has been guaranteed, which means if I unpause, the UK should go to war as well. well let's just find out how many volunteers we can send. What? The? Limited by number of their provinces? Holy crap. So we are limited by their provinces. Not just my total divisions. Well, five is a little short. I was hoping we will send a lot more. Uh, how are we going to do this then? Oh yeah, they're definitely at war with the UK. I can send volunteers to both sides. Oh, hey, I can send 12 to Italy, but I can only send 5 to Yugoslavia. God damn. Number of their provinces. So, in other words, they're gimped. Well, that sucks. Can I send more to these guys? Yes, I can send 12 to the UK, and I can send 5 to Yugoslavia. That means I can send 17 out, right? And then I can send another 12 to Canada, who is in the war as well, I think. Or is it Canada? Or is it British Raj? Yeah, British Raj. 